Hi, welcome back to another episode of Learn with Ucha. This time I'm gonna talk about how I created my um, artist website, uchamusic.com, for free. Okay, let's jump right to it. Hi, first of all, this video is dedicated for independent artists who have a very limited budget, who are students, who don't know how to code or don't know anyone who can code for them and aren't really looking for a professional website. If you check one of those boxes, then this video is for you. And before we go into my topic, I'd like to show you this pretty cool site. It's called bandzoogle.com. This is not an ad for them. It's not a paid promote. I am just very interested with Benzoogle.com. They are a web app builder dedicated for artists, and a lot of artists use this uh, website. Here are a few examples. Um, I think this website is pretty cool. It's pretty minimalistic, and it has everything you need on an artist's website page. So the homepage is actually a landing page with just a picture of him as the header and a mailing list sign up button. Then there's a homepage, a, like, your whole discography. Oh, I'm showing this to you to know basically what an artist page usually has. So what I usually do is open a lot of people's websites and take note what you want on your website. So this is the home page and then for the music page it has his discography over here. Cool. And then an about page. It's just pretty simple. You don't even have to have a lot of um, like elements on your website. And just some high quality photos for people to use um, for media, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Other than Benzugo, there are definitely other ways to create your website. It doesn't have to actually be specific for artists. You can use other web app builders like, like Wix.com and Weebly. There are a lot. Benzugo costs quite a bit. If you have the budget for it, be my guest. Um, their cheapest one is $8.3 per month. It's actually a really good deal. But if you do not, have this many you can opt for my choice which is a free web app builder drum roll please which is google sites but before we go through how i created my website i'm gonna show you some websites that i used as my reference there's halsey and Halsey.com. It's just beautiful. I do not know how to make this, but it's beautiful. And then there's the Marias. I also use the Marias. Um, their homepage is just a stunning, elegant, and minimalistic picture of her and the navigation bar. They put up their lyrics on it here, um, some behind the scenes photos and fan art. This is like their mailing list of letters. It's cute. Okay, so I adopted those pages to my website. This is what my website looks like. 
it's very minimalistic. It's black and white. I think nothing can go wrong with monochrome, so... Yeah, this is what my website looks like. I understand no code whatsoever. This is my discography. If you hover your mouse over it, this is what it looks like. And if you click it, it'll open a another link. This is uh, made in toned in, so people can choose which um, DSP they'd like to listen your song through. Okay. Now I made all of this in Google Sites for free. As for the domain, since I'm from Indonesia, I use dewaweb.com. Really, you can use any domain. You can use a domain from anywhere. I'm sorry, my brain did not work for a second there. Okay, okay so here's uh, the breakdown for my website. Basically, I have a home page. Oh, this is not my home page, sorry. I have a home page. It's a, just a simple header that I have made in Photoshop. I upload it here, and then you can choose which header type, how big you want the image to see. Let's keep this way. And I just added like a small aesthetic text and then you can just add however you like with this layout adder. This one is what I use for this part. The layout is for like different sections of your website. This one is called a collapsible text. This is actually very simple to make. Just drag this one, I think, and add it in YouTube videos that I have uploaded. And the last one is a link to my mailing list. There you go. It's very simple. And then for the next page, Again, the same picture as for the home page. I think you have to have like a consistent, at least a consistent color palette or consistent assets for your website. I added in these two badges or like buttons to go to Spotify and Apple Music. This one's a follow button for Spotify. I will put the link to create these two buttons on the description, bo uh, description box, or the description below. <laughs> uh, yeah, and this is my discography. For this one, I actually kind of coded it. I'll just show you how I created the batch. I'm oh, sorry. So over here, there's a um, um, embed, embed. How do you say that word? You just paste all of the code that is supplied by Spotify and Apple Music here, and there you go. This is what it looks like. Over here. Cool. To make this one, you will have to go to Spotify and copy your artist profile's code, and then add it to the um, badge builder. As for this one, it's it's just on Apple Music. It's, it's very simple to make. Now for these beauties. Um, so you can see here, there are quite a few code, which I did not make from scratch, to be honest. I used w3schools.com slash how to 
and then I went to this one I scroll down to image overlay fade and literally just press this tried it myself and there you go I only tweaked a bit but from here okay we can erase this and then change the image to whatever image you want I used my single I took the image from my Bandcamp profile I clicked right on the image copy image address and then pasted it here using Control v as for the text overlay I put in my single's name, which is Quantum Coupling, Quantum Coupling, and changed the color to have a co coherent, coherent, consistent, sorry, coherent, to have a consistent um, color palette. I used a consistent color palette for this. I do. So I used this color. It's a beautiful dark gray color of um yeah, it's this one. Okay, place it here. And then click run. Here you go. Ta-da! Magic. Oh and um I haven't added in. Other than this, we still have to add a, another code outside of this, which is and then link this to your um, to your single. It can be straight to Spotify, to Apple Music, whichever streaming platform you like, or you can link tree. You can use link tree or tone den, pipe edit. There are many possibilities. I used Swim Den to open this right here. Just copy this and then paste it here. Click on Now, supposedly, it is clickable or not. Did I not do this correctly? Uh, let's see. Oh, 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 sorry. Okay. <laughs> there you go. See, I do not understand code whatsoever. Um, yeah. But if you click it, it's gonna go to the tone site. Cute. And then when you're done, you just need to add custom domains and then add your domain. Mine is futuremusic.com. Do pass by if you have time. Then you just publish your site. And that's it. That's all you need to do. It's very simple. I will put the links to everything on the description below. So, yeah. That's all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this session. It was pretty enjoyable for myself. I hope you find something useful from this short sharing session. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. Now could you please subscribe, like, comment, and hit that notification bell.